Well, after rising throughout September, market volatility is now falling. And for the month of October so far, the All Ordinaries is up 3%, including today's half a percent. And today was all about the banks and retailers, especially the online retailer Kogan, up 7% on news of a big surge in quarterly sales and a 30% lift in active customers. Flight Centre, on the other hand, did not fly. Global markets were generally higher today after a 0.7% rise in New York last night. Iron ore and oil went up on commodity markets while copper and zinc went down. And the Australian dollar briefly touched 75 US cents today for the first time since July and is currently just below that. But the currency against which the Aussie is really flying at the moment is the Japanese yen. It's up more than 6% this month to its highest rate in three years. Foreign exchange traders are dumping the yen because of the global energy crisis that's pushing up the cost of Japan's imported oil and gas. And here's the main reason there are global shortages of everything at the moment, including energy. The world champion consumers, Americans, are buying more stuff than they ever have before, with stimulus checks from the government. Supply chains are clogged. Paul Krugman in the New York Times says it's just like when there's too many cars trying to use the same road. It's a traffic jam. Oh, and Facebook is apparently going to change its name next week. Send your suggestions to mzuckerberg at fb.com. I'm suggesting they go green. Faceplant. And that's finance. Thanks for watching. You can check out more finance news by clicking there. And don't forget to click subscribe down there to get all the latest updates from ABC News.